Why did the grape stop in the middle of the road? Because he ran out of juice. Now that we have you smiling, let's dive into the world of fruit juice. Is it a healthy choice or a sugary vice? We're going to delve into the rise of juice culture, weigh the pros and cons, and help you decide if that daily glass of juice is really doing you any good. So buckle up juice lovers, as we embark on a juicy journey. Juice, we all love it, and it seems like it's everywhere these days. The rise of juice culture is no accident. It's a story that begins with our ever-growing quest for wellness, and the increasing interest in natural unprocessed foods. As society became more health-conscious people started to seek out alternatives to sugary carbonated drinks, and what could be more natural than juice squeezed right from a piece of fruit? This health trend took off rapidly with juice bars sprouting up in cities worldwide and grocery store shelves filling up with a wide array of juices. From exotic dragon fruit and Thai juices to the humble apple and orange, there's a juice for every palate and every purported health benefit, but what is it about juice that has us so captivated? Some say it's the convenience, the ability to gulp down the nutrients of several fruits in a single serving. Others are drawn to the vibrant colors and bold flavors, a sensory experience that promises both pleasure and health. And then there are those tantalizing claims of detoxification, weight loss, and boosted immunity that make juice seem like a magic potion. And then we have the rise of cold-pressed juices, a method that purportedly retains more nutrients than traditional juicing methods. These premium juices, often organic and served in stylish glass bottles, have become a symbol of a healthy, on-the-go lifestyle. But is fruit juice truly the health elixir it's often made out to be? Let's squeeze some facts out of the fruit, shall we? When it comes to benefits, fruit juice offers a symphony of vitamins and minerals, each playing a vital role in keeping our body in tune. Sip a glass of orange juice, and you've got a powerhouse of vitamin C, a nutrient that not only boosts your immune system but also fosters collagen production for healthy skin. Now flip the bottle to apple juice and you've got a good source of potassium, a mineral that helps control blood pressure. Don't forget about grape juice, which is rich in antioxidants that fight off damaging free radicals, and the list goes on. But vitamins and minerals are just the tip of the iceberg. Fruit juice is also a great way to stay hydrated, especially for those who find plain water a tad boring. It's a refreshing, flavorful alternative that can contribute to your daily fluid intake. And how about aiding digestion? Some fruit juices, like pineapple, contain enzymes that can help break down food in your gut, potentially easing digestive discomfort. Now as we've seen, fruit juice isn't all bad. However, before you rush to your fridge we have a little more to pour into this topic. Before you gulp down that glass of OJ, consider this. Fruit juice, while a convenient and tasty way to get your daily dose of vitamins, may not be as healthy as you think. The reason? It's all about sugar and fiber. When you juice a fruit, you extract the water and most of the nutrients, but you leave behind the fiber. Fiber is a crucial part of our diet, helping to keep our digestive system healthy and our hunger levels in check. Without it, the natural sugars in the fruit juice can lead to a quick spike in blood sugar levels, similar to what you'd experience after drinking a soda. Here's another thing to ponder. A cup of orange juice, for instance, requires about four to six oranges. That's a lot of fruit and consequently a lot of sugar. Consuming this amount of sugar in one go, even if it's from fruit, can contribute to weight gain if it's not balanced with regular exercise and a healthy diet. Moreover, excessive consumption of fruit juice can increase the risk of developing health issues such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. It's important to remember that everything should be consumed in moderation, fruit juice included. Now that we've stirred up both sides of the juice debate, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below to join the conversation. So, is fruit juice a friend or foe? A question that's been swirling around in our heads and we've explored it from all angles today. Let's take a moment to squeeze out the juice of this discussion and see what we've got. In the vast orchard of beverage choices, fruit juice certainly has its appeal. It's vibrant, tasty and gives us a refreshing burst of nature's goodness. It's a source of essential nutrients like vitamin C and potassium, and it can be a quick and easy way to hydrate. Plus, with the rise of juice culture, it's become a trendy part of our day-to-day -day lives. But like an overripe fruit, it also has its less appealing side. The natural sugars in fruit juice can add up quickly, potentially leading to weight gain and other health issues. It lacks the fiber we get from whole fruits, which can leave us feeling less satisfied and more likely to overindulge. And let's not forget, it's no substitute for the real deal. Whole fruits. So, where does this leave us? Well, it's all about balance and moderation. Fruit juice can definitely be part of a healthy diet, but it shouldn't replace whole fruits. 
Consider it a treat, not a staple. And when you do reach for that juice glass, opt for 100% fruit juice and keep the portion sizes in check. The takeaway here is that making informed decisions about our juice consumption can go a long way in promoting our health. It's not about demonizing fruit juice, but rather understanding its place in our diet and enjoying it responsibly. Remember, the key is balance. And speaking of balance, don't forget to balance that mouse over the like button, click on subscribe and juice up our comments section with your thoughts. Until next time, stay healthy and stay informed.